shall I tell you something that makes you jealous? My flatmate made cinnamon rolls and they are amazing and as soon as I'm done filming here I will have at least five of them. Hello for the bookworms, it's Katie. So today we're doing the obligatory spring book haul because what would booktube without book hauls. So today I'm going to talk about the books that I've bought in March, April and May, the three months of spring. Over this season I didn't really buy much books because I'm broke as hell. I bought eight books in total, four of which are audiobooks, three paperbacks and one mini hardback. Um, and I already listened to three of the audiobooks, so let's start with them. I bought Lockwood & Co. 4 and 5 by Jonathan Stroud and read by Emily Bevan. The title of the fourth book is The Creeping Shadow and the title of the fifth book is The Empty Grave. I um, really enjoyed them. I really enjoyed the conclusion to the series and I talk more about those books in my wrap-up. Um, which you can, you know, watch later this week. A little bit of a self-plugger here. Then I also bought the fourth and fifth book of the Harry Potter series by J.K. Rowling, read by Stephen Fry. And I've already listened to The Goblet of Fire and I'm currently listening to The Order of the Phoenix. And yeah, I enjoyed them. I think the experience that I'm having of um, reading these books or listening to these books in English for the first time is much like listening to them through the first time because some of these you know plays on words are just not translated into German or are translated differently into German for it to make sense in German so it's very interesting listening to the Harry Potter series in English for the first time and obviously there's a ton of nostalgia for me you know connected to the series um, because it was the series that really made a reader out of me that, you know, I learned how to read for. A ton of nostalgia, but I can also, you know, listen to this, uh, to the series critically and I can definitely see that the series is not perfect and there are a lot of questionable things about it. Yeah, let's just put it that way. Let's move on to the physical books. I just told you that I bought a mini hardback and um, <laughs> that is this book. It is called Das Geisterhaus by Isabel Allende. It is um, translated from Spanish, I believe. It's also been translated into um, English. The House of Spirits, I think it is called. This is a magical realism book about a family told over three generations. It was a recommendation of a subscriber and I checked it out. It sounded really good and I, I you know, decided to... Um, buy it but it it turned out like when i ordered it i didn't uh pay attention to the to the measurements of the book so when it arrived it was just this really um small little mini hardback i also bought children of blood and bone by tomi adeyemi it's um, been all over booktube and bookstagram and all the bookish internet forums um, it is about a girl who is a member of some kind of, you know, magic people and the um, magic has been forbidden and she has to fight some rulers and uh, sounds very good, sounds very good. I'm very much looking forward to reading it. It's um, some YA fantasy and just sometimes you just need that YA fantasy. And on to my last two books that I've bought, which I've bought used because I do that from time to time because it's hella a lot cheaper than buying new books. Um, I've bought Palimpsest by Catherine M. Valenti. This is one of her adult books. It's about a city, three people going to the city and experiencing some life-changing event or revelation and it's very... um. How do I say that? Sexual? It's a story that is very much sur uh, revolving around sex and um, yeah, I'm not entirely sure what will await me when I'm, what, what, I'll, what I'm expecting, you know, with this story, but uh, we'll see. I'll just experience it and then we'll see. <laughs> 
And the last book that I've bought is a bind up of four short novels by Catherine Novelletti. It is called Myths of Origin and it um, contains the novels The Labyrinth, Yume no Hon, The Book of Dreams, The Grass Cutting Sword, and Under in the Mirror. And um, yeah, all of the novels in here, or novellas, are some kind of myth retelling or um, saga retelling, like that it has to do with fairy tales and myths and, and retelling of that. And I am, you know, slowly trying to read myself through Catherine Malenti's um, the works and yeah, I thought a bind up of four of her novels, perfect. Um, it just, it's a little bit sad that it arrived damaged, but that's the risk you take when you order used books. There you go. So that's it for today. That's a pretty uh, small book haul. That was very, very quick. Um, but that, you know, that's it. I, I didn't buy many books <laughs> this past season. So that was it for today. I hope you're having a wonderful, magical, awesome day. I hope you're reading something wonderful that fills your heart with joy. And uh, yeah, I will see you soon. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>